Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom ROM for our Redmi Note 11 and this is the Havoc OS and uh, this is the Havoc OS 4.19 and its security patch is 5 July 2022 and I don't know why they are still using the Android 11 and uh, but this ROM is most stable ROM for our Redmi Note 11. Uh, I will show you later why I am saying that. So in this video I will be showing you a full review of this ROM and I will also show you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all let me tell you why I am saying that this ROM is most stable ROM for our Redmi Note 11 because this is based on Android 11 and uh, there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM. Everything is just working fine. There is no any lag or issue in this ROM. And the app opening speed is also pretty much cool than the Android 12 ROMs as you can see here. The animations are also played very well. This ROM opens everything really quickly as you can see here. It is way faster than the Android 12 ROMs for this device. And if we talk about the camera, here we have a simple camera using this camera. You can uh, record videos and take pictures and here we have some other options like you can change the picture mode and other options and if you want more advanced options like portrait mode uh, night mode and slow motion uh, in video then you can go for the G cam so this is the GFs build that's mean no need to flash the GFs zip file manually and if we talk about the applications there are only few and needed applications are pre-installed uh, there are not a lot of janky applications pre-installed in this ROM as you can see here and uh, in the home setting here we have a simple launcher with some minimum settings from here you can do the settings in the home screen after you can change the grid you can change the icon settings you can uh, enable or disable the gestures and you can also check the about and basically this is the shady uh, launcher after it we have the widgets option then we have styles and wallpapers in the wallpapers here we have a load of wallpapers right here because this is the google wallpaper application and from here you can access the styles you can uh, make your uh, own style right from here then you can also choose the uh, cloak for your lock screen let's try this one this looks pretty much colorful as you can see here this looks pretty much futuristic so there are a lot of options right here you can try any of these and uh, now let's go to the setting before going to settings if we uh, go to left here we have the google feed and in the quick setting this is the style uh, stroke and dress style of this quick settings as you can see here and it is like really snappy it just feels very smooth now let's go to the settings right from here in the settings first of all we have connectivity options and uh, then we have configuration center in the configuration center first of all we have the status bar from the status bar you can change the clock styles and you can also enable the logo and you can change its position and style right from here and after it here we have gesture settings like you can control the brightness you can enable the double tap to sleep you can also enable the network indicators you can change the battery style percentage style battery bar and other status bar icon settings right from here after it we have the quick setting settings then we have lock screen settings after it we have ambient display and here we also have the always on display which really works cool on this amulet screen so after it here we have some other gestures then we have buttons and navigation bar from here you can change the system navigation bar and here we have some volume button settings like swap keys wake device answer calls and keyboard cursor control then we have gestures in the gestures we have quickly open camera system navigation bar prevent ringing power menu you can also enable the advanced reboot right from here then we have quick torch skip music tracks and swipe three fingers to screenshot after it we have notifications option right here from here you can also access the edge lightning heads up and other settings then we have the battery saving options then we have screen media and in the misc we have the gaming mode that's mean you can use this rom for gaming too 
and you can enable it to enhance the gaming performance of this ROM as we already know this display sports 90 hertz that's mean you can uh, do the gaming on advanced level after it you can read about them uh, after configuration center here we have apps and notification battery the battery backup of, the, of this ROM is also really good and uh, after it we have the battery saver adaptive battery you can also enable the adaptive charging then we have display and the display we have the same options uh, like other ROMs like uh, brightness level dark mode night mode styles and wallpapers colors profile refresh rate you can enable the maximum refresh rate and uh, some other settings like tap to wake then we have sound option and then we have uh, storage privacy location security now in this security we have uh, approximately all security options like face unlock is not available in this room but fingerprint is working pretty much fine and all other on-screen locks are also working pretty much good and here we also have the app locker so it's a really good feature of this ROM that's mean no need to download any third-party application to lock your applications after it we have accounts accessibility digital well-being Google system in the system we have languages and input date and time backup rules reset options and multiple users at the end we have the about phone from the about phone you can check your Android version which is 11 and uh, after installing this ROM, you will never regret uh, you have installed the Android 11 ROM because this ROM is faster, way faster than the Android 12 ROMs. Then we have Havoc OS, its version is 4.19, security patch is 5 July 2022. So the ROM is completely stable and suitable for daily usage. And if you want to install this ROM on your Redmi Note 11, then just download the ROM from the link in the description and reboot your device into an installed custom recovery. After downloading the ROM, you have to place the uh, downloaded ROM into any SD card or internal storage of your device, or you can also use any external hard drive. So I am using the external hard drive. I will connect it out with my mobile using a OTG connector just connect it out go to mount mount it out okay after mounting just go back to wipe click on format data and type yes you can do the uh, format after installing the ROM 2 so uh, don't be worried if you format the data first or after installing the ROM uh, it will do the same stuff so after doing format go to install now locate your downloaded rom so here we go yeah, so here we have the have oak os 4.19 first pass just click on it and flash it right from here after flashing it you can also flash the magic manager if you wanna root your rom and uh, after flashing the rom just go to advance and click on flash current to TWRP to make the TWRP recovery permanent on your Redmi Note 11 so just swipe right from here after swiping it just go to reboot click on system and the Havoc OS will be installed on your Redmi Note 11 so this was the review video of Havoc OS 4.19 for our Redmi Note 11 and this ROM is really awesome I really like it if you guys really like this video give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel also press the bell icon and uh, you can also leave any comment so that will be appreciated keep supporting thanks for watching peace